The carbonyl group is simply a carbon-oxygen double bond. We find the carbonyl group in many compounds. Here we see some examples. Here's a carboxylic acid, and the rest are derivatives of carboxylic acid. We'll be talking about those shortly, uh, but first we're going to introduce the carbonyl group by talking about the chemistry of aldehydes and ketones. An aldehyde is a carbonyl group which has a hydrogen bonded on one side and on the other side can be carbon or hydrogen. Ketones, the carbonyl group has a carbon bonded on each side. The chemistry of these two types of compounds is pretty similar with some slight differences uh, due to the difference of one containing a carbon hydrogen bond on the carbonyl carbon. The chemistry of carbonyl containing groups is dominated by the fact that uh, the carbonyl group is a very polar group. The carbon oxygen bond is quite polar. This is due largely because of the electronegativity of the oxygen atom, but as we'll see, uh, it's due to other differences as well. So let's talk a little bit about naming of aldehydes. Aldehydes take their name from the parent alkane ch chains. The E is removed from the end and is replaced with AL. So in the case of one carbon chain, which would be methane, we call it methanal. Two carbon chain, ethanal, uh, five carbon pentanal, and so on. And uh, our numbering, the Carbonyl carbon in the case of aldehydes is always in the one position and we number everything relative to that. We can also uh, use Greek letters to indicate things that have a position. We can use Greek letters to indicate the carbons uh, relative to the carbonyl group so that the first carbon next to the carbonyl group is alpha, beta, gamma, etc. So here we see an example. We can call this beta chloropentanal. Also be aware that this is the three position, so we could also call it three chloropentanal. The common names, uh, we, will, we will find a lot of aldehydes that are talked about with their common names. For instance, formaldehyde and acetaldehyde are two compounds which we rarely call anything but formaldehyde or acetaldehyde. Uh, this thing, butanal, is common name is butyraldehyde, although it is becoming more common for people to call it by its IUPAC name. Ketones take their name from the parent alkane as well. The ending E is removed and placed with an O-N-E. Here we see a three carbon ketone. That is the smallest ketone that we could have because if we did not have a carbon here, we would have to replace it with something. An alde uh, Hydrogen would make it an aldehyde. Anything else would make it something else. Uh, in the case of propanone, we don't have to tell you where the carbonyl carbon is because it can only be in one position. It can only be in the two position. In the case of something like pentanone, we can have two pentanone, which we see here. We could also have a carbon oxygen double bond in the three position, in which case we'd have to call it three pentanone. You'll also notice that there's another way of naming carbonyl containing compounds, which are ketones, by talking about what's on each side of the carbonyl group. So in this case, we have a methyl group on one side, here's a methyl, and a phenyl group on the other, and we sometimes will call this methylphenyl ketone diphenyl ketone. Here's an instance where we have an ethyl group and a propyl group, and we could call this ethylpropyl ketone, but its IUPAC name would be 3-hexanone. We could also call it hexane-3-one uh, to indicate the position of the carbon-oxygen double bond. We can also use Greek letters to indicate the position relative to the carbonyl group, but we have to be careful because we have to keep in mind that we have carbons on both sides of the carbonyl group. So in this instance, uh, this is 2-bromo-4-chloro, 3-pentanone. We could also call it alpha-bromo, alpha-prime-chloro-pentane-3-one, uh, and we'd be able to construct it, but this is the IUPAC name.
the properties of aldehydes and ketones are dominated by that polar nature of the carbonyl group. When we have small aldehydes and ketones, they tend to be very polar. They're quite soluble in water. Here we see one, two, and three carbon aldehydes are very soluble in water. Uh, acetone and bent butanone, very soluble in water. And in fact, acetone and water are miscible in all proportions, uh, as are acetaldehyde and water. If we take a look at the boiling points of uh, aldehydes and ketones, propanol and acetone have very the same molecular weight. If we take a look at butane, which has uh, also has a molecular weight of 58, we see that it has a boil po boiling point that's much lower. Propanol and acetone have boiling points 49 and 56, and that's because there's some strong intermolecular actions due to dipole-dipole attractions. Uh, these are not as high boiling as something like 1-propanol. One 1-propanol one can be both a hydrogen bond donor and a hydrogen bond acceptor. Aldehydes and ketones are good at forming hydrogen bonds, but only as hydrogen bond acceptors.